Eric, thank you. It's Halloween 2021. A lot has changed since Halloween 2020. Parents are reflecting on how much has changed since last year. We, of course, have the vaccine, and we've learned much more about how to stay safe. Ericetta Cost joins us live now with more from families. Ericetta. Good evening, Jack. Well, we're here in Arondacoit, and as you mentioned, so much has changed since a year ago. Things are starting to feel a lot more normal. People of all ages tell me they're excited to be out in the community again, whether it's trunk or treat events or going door to door. Last year, I think I bought a bag of candy and we watched a scary movie. Natalie Ingram and her son Charles have missed traditional Halloween activities. She says they don't normally go trick-or-treating. It's these trunk-or-treat events they've missed the most. I believe we did it, but it was odd. Everyone was a little hesitant to get close to each other. There's more excitement this time around with the vaccine readily available, but Ingram is still waiting for her son. He's not quite old enough for the vaccine yet. But we're still hesitant, still wearing the mask. The same case for this couple. This is their son's first night going out. It won't come without some nerves for mom and dad. I am a little nervous, but I'm actually happy because he enjoys his costume. Joe Thomas is sending off his teenager tonight for parties with friends. His biggest concern for her, staying warm and dry. So it's just like the weather and the kids being warm and just staying out of the elements. Now, as for authorization for ages 5 to 11 for Pfizer, an advisory committee to the CDC is expected to meet Tuesday and Wednesday. Health officials are expecting that authorization. And before I toss it back to you in the studio, I do want to give you a closer look at this beautiful setup behind me. These pumpkins are all hand carved and lit, ready for the darkness to set on. We're going to talk to this family just in a few minutes, and you're going to hear their story later tonight at 11. I'll toss it back to you in the studio, Jack. Ericetta, thank you. That'll look good when the sun goes down.